Let me tell you about a biblical, another biblical hero. His name is Timothy. You've heard of Timothy before, right? You read your Bible, you read of 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy. They were addressed to him from the inspired hand of the Apostle Paul. You read the Bible and Timothy is praised for his, his maturity at a young age, for his genuine and sensitive heart. In Acts 16, verse 2, it says he was well spoken of by the brethren who were in Lystra and Iconium. That's impressive. This is a young man, young man, probably under 30, and two towns knew of this guy and spoke well of him. As a matter of fact, when Paul was introduced to him when he first arrived at Lystra, that should be a second time to Lystra, he was so impressed that in chapter 16, verse 3, it says, I quote, Paul wanted this man to go with him. So Paul's on a missionary journey, Silas is with him, and he wants Timothy now to join him. That's amazing. Because if you remember one chapter earlier, chapter 15, him and Barnabas got into what? A very sharp disagreement, my, my text says. About, all right, let's go out again on a second missionary journey. And Barnabas says, great idea, Paul. Make, give Mark a call, see if he's available, and we'll, we'll head out pretty soon. And Paul said, whoa, put the phone down. Mark's not going with us. No, no. We got to Pamphylia. We just, we just started. We made it through Cyprus. We get to Asia Minor, and, you know, the dude bolts on us. He deserted us. Paul Barnabas is like, what, the encouraging guy, right? Hey, let's give the guy another chance. Let's give him another chance. He's a, he's a good man. Let's give him another chance. Paul's like, I don't have a place for quitters. There's, I, I can't, this is too big. There's too much on the line. I need guys that I can rely upon. I need stable men. So I'm taking Silas, and we're going without you. And they split company, as you know. And right away, he shows up in Lystra, and who does he run into? Another young man. You think Paul would say, no way. 45 or higher, that's all I'm taking. That's all I'm taking. And he says, I want this guy to join me. Was he committed? Verse 3, it says, he subjected himself to being circumcised. Why? Why? for the sake of the gospel, because they knew his dad was a Greek. That the gospel might be more effective to the Jews. Timothy, as a young man, subjected himself to being circumcised. I'd say that says a lot. Young man, if you're looking for a biblical role model, Timothy's one of your guys.